Yo guys, Jonathan here alongside Ralphie C, and things are about to get weird. These are five weird tech items from Amazon that you guys sent me. This one might be the weirdest though. It's a Bluetooth horse, mm -hmm. and I think it's a little bigger than I thought it would be. It's bigger than that Beats pill, man. I thought it was gonna be like a little small horse. I know we got the full stallion in here. Dude, man, look at this keg. What? Damn. Got some Donkey Kong bongo action going here, man. The full array of ports. SD, USB, five volt in, previous play, pause next. You're gonna control your horse, get a remote. <gasps> God! Ooh. You got all the cargo to carry, man. Bam, music's gonna pop out of this horse. He's got even, like, he's got some foot protection. So he's not gonna be messing up your, your counters, your dressers, anywhere you put this guy. He's gonna be pretty solid and he's not gonna move anywhere. Let's call him Sylvester. Sylvester Stallion, whatever. <laughs> okay, there you go, put Sylvester. Oh, S Sylvester. Stallion. Okay, so I guess this is the final build. Hey, man. So this device is called Frisbee. What did I just do? You pause it. Does it open? You made me fall again. Dude, there's like this constant, oh wait, maybe the phone? So far, the Frisbee should not be at the top of your Christmas list. Turn it off. Yeah, let's turn it off. The classic, have you tried resetting it? Yeah. If you need to move around, if you're on the go, you know, if you're on the road trips, you're gonna want those wheels. Maybe the battery's low. Oh. Ah! Why would anyone ever buy this? I have a theory. Okay. If we face it down, it's gonna act like a sub, which should even it out a little bit. No, no, no. Ah, yeah. You're covering the... Much better. Either buy a good Bluetooth speaker or buy a good horse. <laughs> but don't buy this. <laughs> oh man, I wasted my money. God. Not sponsored by Frisbee. Don't buy a Frisbee. Don't buy a Frisbee. <gasps> don't buy a Frisbee. Ralphie, what's next? Next. Think Geek mug, but it's not any sort of mug. So when you got a cold beverage inside, the mug is sad. Throw something hot in there and he smiles right up. Is that a little offensive to cold drinks? It's tea, man. Yeah, okay, er is it tea? It's Earl Grey. Mm, it is. Is it working? <gasps> oh, there it goes. He's hey man, this is some Bill Nye action. The science guy. Dude, I think we're gonna get a happy mug after this. That's cool, man. It's, a, it's actually a nice color too. Yeah, I've, I've actually seen a few mugs that do this with the hot liquids, and this actually works really well. What is this? That's coffee filter water. <laughs> coffee filter water? <laughs> so next is something that may sound like a good idea, but I know I'm probably gonna regret this. A banana. USB drive. The problem is, this is like USB 2.0, which is gonna burn my soul alive. We're gonna dongle a banana into a MacBook. Yeah? I mean, you're getting some lean 2.0 speeds. What's your prediction? 30 write, 10 read. Damn. Nailed it. Five megabytes per second? I mean, how much was this again? Like seven bucks. So we transfer this video, this 4K. Hey man, I don't even think the numbers, oh, 11 minutes. Oh, I paid 15 bucks for this? You paid 15 bucks? You liar. You said it was seven. I, I hoped it was seven. Alexa. What would you like to order? A condom USB drive. Okay. Order placed. <laughs> Rich! <laughs> <laughs> Rich, no! Rich is on it, dude. <laughs> oh, we, we done goofed. <laughs> we done goofed, man. Rich is struggling, man. He's panting. He's breathing, man. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, Rich, did it, did it go through? <laughs> God damn, Rich. I was wondering why that wasn't in my history. Rich, what? Yeah, man, make sure they don't deliver any of that. He shares that account with his girlfriend, so she can be pissed. The only reason I could possibly see buying this is maybe as a joke for Christmas but you can buy much better and faster USB 3 drives for less money. But if you wanna buy a banana or a condom USB drive, the option is yours. So next up is the Illumi Bowl motion activated toilet night light, eight of your favorite colors that you can set or rotate. Fits any toilet, midnight convenience, prevents accidents, what could go wrong? 
Yeah, man. I mean, if you're scared at night, you're going to want to have that like set up. So on a serious note, I guess this is more useful for children or to Rich's example, if you don't want to turn on the light in the middle of the night, batteries not included. Oh. Wrecked. <laughs> Little Timmy got this on Christmas day and now he can't play with his toilet bowl. No one's going pee now. Triple A, the most awkward kind that no one has. So after the trip to Walgreens, we should be in business. Holy crap. Little Timmy's gonna sit down and have a poo poo. Oh, dude, you're peeing into the doom. You're peeing the fire right there. Yeah, man, so if you want your RGB keyboard to match your toilet, here you go, bro. That's actually kind of cool. So it detects that there's light going on beyond just itself, and it will turn off automatically. So if you are in the pitch black and you walk by, this guy is illuminating your way to the toilet. Cut that light. Damn. So that was quite the roller coaster with that. I wasn't sure at first if it was going to actually work. The installation was a little sloppy, didn't want to stick at first. But once I got it on there, it works as advertised. And the cool part with this, it's under 25 bucks. So last up is one of the weirdest things I've ever seen on Amazon. Oh my. The keyboard waffle iron. This does exactly what it sounds like it would do and allows you to make waffle shaped keyboards. Man, it's got that like 2001 like Dell keyboard action going, man. Where's the chiclet style Johnny Ive keyboard? This is mechanical AF. So now it is waffle time. Rip that monkey open, man. So this calls for a cup of the mix, two thirds a cup. One half teaspoon of some sweet honey. That is some fresh honey. How non-stick do you think this is? Uh, not non-stick at all. <laughs> That's cool. I mean, if that was my keyboard, that would suck. Go, man, go, go, go. Slowly. Ooh, that was a long time, man. So we're starting to see some smoke. I think we should be hopefully about done with this. Oh man. Go man, Just hit it. Oh, oh. man. No, no, don't touch it, man. You're gonna burn yourself. Come on. Oh, there she is. Chef Boy RD. <laughs> that tastes real good, Evans. Please don't make me in the beast this. The lady in the chair. <laughs> <laughs> you eat that again, wouldn't you? I would eat that again. <laughs> this is a nightmare. If you have somebody who likes waffles and computers, you're gonna wanna buy this keyboard waffle. I mean, it does the job. It does it great. It's better than everything we reviewed already. Wouldn't you agree, Rich? You like keyboards, right? You like waffles? I like keyboards and I like waffles. There you go. This is the keyboard waffle iron. So the giant Bluetooth horse, that was definitely a no. The mug, that was cool. The banana, not so cool. I think out of this batch though, my favorite would be the keyboard waffle iron. Now, no, none of these products were sponsored. I bought them myself based off stuff you guys sent me. So if you wanna see more of this weird tech, definitely drop me some recommendations on Twitter. Hopefully enjoy the video. If you did and you are feeling like an awesome keyboard waffle, make sure to smash that like button. Check out Ralphie's channel, link below. This is Jonathan and I'll catch you guys later.